I'm excited, I'm optimistic and hungry to use it. I think as a clinician who's been using Doppler for the past 10 years and in its various forms including the MD2 which has been my bread and butter Doppler for the past decade and the VASC Assist and even with the Ability more recently I think this will be the most useful tool for the diagnosing clinician in a busy NHS PAD service or lower limb vascular service and I'm really looking forward to using it more over the next year. It's light and portable. It's got what I've wanted from my other handheld Doppler which is a visible waveform as well as the audible and it will help me to make increasingly complex clinical decisions in people with lower limb arterial disease. I'd say that the Doppler will help to increase confidence in making the decision about what sort of waveform they've detected um, with the audible and the visible component being there as you're doing it. It will help them to make better clinical decisions in both detecting PAD and in detecting critical ischemia and acting on the information. With its component of having the visible um, uh, waveform as well as the audible and the ability to uh, record that uh, and store it means that we will be able to store clinical evidence of what we found on the day when we assessed the patient, which will be increasingly useful in the NHS.